Do you feel burnt out? Are you tired of studying? Have you just lost the motivation to do anything anymore? Well then this video is for you. Hey there, I am Subhav Ramnani, the guy who's mad about medicine just like you. If you're new here then make sure to subscribe to the channel by clicking the button below and also follow me on Instagram where I post some amazing medical content, some interesting quizzes and exciting challenges and giveaways. You'll find the links to all of this and everything else mentioned in this video down in the description box below. So let's go. Well, you may ask me what is the perfect strategy to de-burn out. You've already burnt out, now how do you reverse it? Well, why burn out in the first place? So let's divide this video into two parts. Number one, how to prevent from getting burnt out. And number two, if you are at that stage and if you've burnt out, how to reverse it and get back to your productive life. So let's get on with it. Now number one, how to prevent from getting burnt out. Now the first tip here should be habits, habits and habits. Habits are something you need to develop and habits are something which will help you get used to something and not getting tired of something. Habits are the key to success and habits is what gives you consistency. Now let's say you don't have a habit of doing something. Well, then sooner or later you'll get burnt out if you don't do anything consistently for a short amount of time to develop a habit then this can become a problem let's say you start working out okay you work out monday tuesday friday every week now if you don't do this every week if you just do it for a week and then skip the next week and then try to do it again on the third week well that's going to be a problem you'll feel you don't want to start again the first point is you have to develop a habit and if you've developed some good habits then there are less chances you will get burnt out eventually. I already have a video on 10 study habits you should implement right now and I'll link it here somewhere and also down in the description box below so be sure to check it out. So my main point here is develop good study habits to get used to your work, to get used to this lifestyle and not make it monotonous and start everything again and again. But you would say like, okay, I have developed a habit, but eventually there will come a day and I will get burnt out. Well, for that, there's also a habit which is called taking breaks. Yes, taking breaks should also be a habit. You should take break consciously, not out of getting tired. Take breaks consciously every week or every day at a particular time or whatever you feel like. For me, once or twice a day, every week works perfectly fine. So for you, it might be, let's say, every other day or every three, four days or once in a week. Whatever suits you, but schedule in those breaks. So breaks. Breaks will break the monotonous pattern in your lifestyle. That's why they are called breaks. You will do something else which you're not usually supposed to do at that time. Maybe your body wants to relax, so you'll relax. Maybe you want to go skiing in the snow outside or whatever just take a break and do what your body wants you to do taking a break from your monotonous lifestyle is far more efficient than you think it is people usually don't pay attention to these breaks they say that okay if i study 10 hours a day and seven days a week i'm going to be far more productive if i just study five days a week right but that's not true if you take those breaks once or twice a week you'll be far more productive in the long run. And here we are talking about building habits, building something for a long term, not for a short term like a week or two. So schedule in those breaks and you'll see you are less likely to get burnt out. So the next tip here is adding variety. Let's say your study pattern is very monotonous and you'll eventually get bored with it. For example, you just like to study a topic. Let's say, let me take a book. Okay, uh, this is a new topic. And okay, I start this new topic. Okay, portal hypertension. And I study a few pages and that's all. And I repeat the same thing again and again and again and again. Now I will eventually get bored out of it. So adding variety is very, very important. That can be reading the topic, then actively recalling the topic, 
doing questions on the topic or watching a lecture on the same topic or listening to a podcast on the same topic or watching a video on YouTube on the same topic add variety to your study pattern don't always study from the same pattern you are used to get out of your bubble if you stay in that bubble you'll eventually be bored out of it and that is not a good thing if you don't want to burn out so add variety to your tasks try reading try watching lectures listening to audio books podcasts or even like let's say when you're walking the dog and reading something rather than just studying and reading something add some variety for me if you follow me on instagram a few months ago i posted that i've added this new thing in my life i sometimes go to cafes and study i do my anki there or i study something whatever i have to but i do it in cafes which are quiet or i may be put my headphones on and i am good to go this is adding variety to my life i was getting bored of my study pattern and i realized that and i fixed it at the right moment i added some variety to it for 2 to 3 weeks i continued that pattern and then came back to my you say original pattern which i was used to so adding that variety really helped and i didn't get burnt out just because i added that variety the next thing to prevent burnout is having a goal let's say you are studying and studying and studying working and working and working without an end term goal what is the use of it one day one day i should assure you your mind will ask why am i doing this what will be your answer then if you have an answer to that then you're good to go you have a goal if you cannot answer this that why are you doing this then there are more chances you'll get burnt out of it because there is no goal why are you doing this subject why are you doing this thing you should have a goal so if you don't have a goal set a goal now goals can be of two types a long term goal and a short term goal so short term goals are for you to have those outbursts of energy okay for today my task is this that is a short term goal a long term goal can be okay i want to bag a residency in this and this hospital so i have to work hard for it throughout these years of medical school that is a long term goal so have both a short term goal and a long term goal and having these goals will help you not burn out and make you stay motivated all the time to summarize this goal topic no goal means no motivation is equal to early burnout having a goal makes you stay motivated and productive and prevent early burnout now let's come to the second part of the video what to do if you're already burnt out how to stay motivated if you're already burnt out now this is a very important topic because some day some time every student reaches this point no matter what you do no matter how many tips you follow from any youtube channel one day you might fall in this trap and you might be burnt out now what to do if you've already burnt out now the first step here is to take a step back now what i mean by taking a step back taking a step back means going away from the situation for some time being relaxed being away from this for some time at least a day and clearing your mind not thinking about this too often again and again do what you like do what you love maybe cook maybe go out or de-stress your life this is the first step you should follow and this is one thing which is very very important once you've taken a step back you've cleared your mind you've cleared out the negative things in your mind that you cannot study you cannot work the next step here is to analyze yourself to analyze what went wrong to analyze what made you quit or what made you burn out now this is very important because this will require you to have some positive thinking you've already cleared your mind of the negative thoughts that you're burnt out and etc and etc this is the time to think forward to think positive and analyze what went wrong for example your study strategy just listed reading 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 so you analyze okay i think i am actually bored of reading i need to add some variety okay that's a solution or another problem could be i am just working too hard i just cannot take 10 hours every day every day every day i just cannot study for 10 hours every day so a solution might be to schedule in breaks now this is what you have to analyze why did you burn out now every situation will be individual but it is important to analyze 
and you will be able to analyze if you've taken that first step back and cleared your mind. The third step to reverse your burnout is making a short term goal to fix what you've analyzed. Like I said, if you've noticed that you've been studying or working too much, your step should be to make a short term goal as in to study for a short amount of time and then taking a break. Short term goals help you immensely and they are actually the ones that keep you motivated on a day to day basis. Having a long term goal is good, but you might lose track of it. So for that to not to lose track, you should have these short term goals and these short term goals is what will get you back on track. So after you've analyzed yourself, try to fix it by making a short term goal. Now the fourth point here is to make these short term goals into a habit. Now, like I said, habits are the most powerful tool you have in your arsenal. This will help you get used to the stuff you have to get used to. Now, building a habit is not easy. In the first few days, you might feel like, okay, this is tough. Why am I doing this? But in no time, you'll get used to it and you've already noticed that you've built a habit. Now, I already have a challenge for this, the MAM21 challenge. So go over to my Instagram page and you'll find this MAM21 challenge, which will help you immensely build a habit. And it has helped so many people because it provides you with the challenge and challenge acts like a short term goal, like I said. So making this into a habit is what will get you back on track. As I said, short term goal will help you get back in track. And if you make that into a habit, this is the right step forward. So the next step after you've analyzed yourself, made a short term goal and converted that into a habit is to sprinkle it with some variety. Now you've built a habit and to prevent from getting burnt out again, as I said, you should add some variety, add some variety by doing something different while doing the same task. If you're reading, just read at a different location. If you're studying in a particular way, just do it in a slightly different situation. Let's say your everyday schedule is, for example, doing Anki and you usually do Anki on your laptop. Now, what if I tell you, you could use a controller and you could connect this laptop or your phone to your, let's say, TV and just enhance your whole experience. That is adding variety while doing the same task. And adding variety is like those chocolate chips in the brownie. It's not really needed, but if it's there, it just makes the whole experience of tasting the brownie much, much better. Now, I know you're hungry right now, but we are almost done. So stay with me here. After adding variety, the last step, the absolute last step you have to do is schedule in those breaks. Like I said, breaks are very, very important to de-stress yourself. It is a break. Breaks are break from your normal routine and it will help you relax. Now schedule in those breaks every week. That works for me. But if that doesn't work for you, you can do it every three days, every four days, every two days or whatever suits you. But don't forget to schedule in those breaks. Don't think if you study 10 hours a day for seven days a week, you'll be more productive than a guy who's studying six, six days a week and for 10 hours. Eventually he will or she will last longer because they won't get burnt out as they have scheduled in those breaks and the person who's studying every day continuously will eventually get burnt out earlier. So the most important point here is to schedule in those breaks. So let me give you the summary of this whole video. Part one to prevent a burnout. Number one, make habits which will turn into consistency. Number two, have breaks, schedule in breaks. Number three, add variety. Number four, have goals, both short term and long term. For part two, if you have burnt out and how to reverse it. Number one, take a step back, relax. Number two, analyze yourself. Number three, make a short term goal out of it. Number four, convert that short term goal into a habit. Number five, add some variety. And number six, don't forget to schedule in those breaks. I hope this video was useful for you. And if it added any value in your life, please don't forget to click the like button. And if you just love me or love the video, just smash the subscribe button. And as always, stay healthy, stay safe and stay mad, but just about medicine.